Let's talk about solving logs. So this is when we are, have a variable in our log equation and we need to solve that. Um, so we've got two types, and the first type is if we've got a log equaling a log. And remember, when we're working with our logs, they have to have the same basis for us to, to be able to do anything with them. So um, our steps for if we've got a log equaling a log is we are going to condense each log if we have to. Um, so that means that if on one side of the equal sign we've got two logs, then we're going to condense it into one. Um, this example we do not, so we don't no condensing needed. But on the second example, you see how we have log plus a log equals a log. We need to condense that this side first. Okay, once we um, condense it, we can use the one-to-one -one property, which says that if, uh, let me write it here, if we've got log base b of m equaling log base b of n, then m equals n. So after we do, we're going to solve and check. Okay. That's it, check. <laughs> Since no condensing needed, we've got a log equaling a log, and both of them are the same base, no condensing needed. So this is my m, and this is my n, so it's just 5x plus 9 equals 6x. And then we're just solving for x like we always do. Subtract 5x both sides, 9 equals x. All right, let me show you. So this is our answer, 9 equals x. And that was easy peasy. Show me, um, let me, bleh. let me show you how to check it. You would put log five of not five times nine plus nine equals log base five of six times nine. And if you did that in your calculator, then you would get 54 equals 54, and that's how you know that 9 does equal x. So if you didn't get them, um, get the same answer on both sides, then that wouldn't be a solution, and there would be no solutions. All right, um, the second one, we do have to condense, like I said. So condensing this first, remember whenever we've got our addition sign that means multiplication multiply so I'm gonna take log 4 times x plus 5 equals log 72 and I'm gonna go ahead and distribute my 4 so then really I have log 4x plus 20 equals log of 72 now I have log equal log they have the same basis I can take this equaling this. I swear I changed my pen color. 4x plus 20 equals 72. When I solve, I get x equals 13. Make sure to check it. This one does work out, so this is our answer. So if we get, if we plug this number in for x and we get a negative number, If you get, so this is just a side note, if you get log of a negative number, then that's not a solution. You can't have a negative number inside our log. All right, quickly, let's look at this other one. What if we've got log equaling a number, okay? So again, we want to condense and isolate the log. So, um, like I said, this first example, we don't need to condense, but this one's got log uh, two logs on the side, so we will have to condense that. And then we're gonna write the equation in our exponential, I don't even know if I'm spelling this right, form. So remember whenever we were rewriting log into, log into exponential, that's um, the first day we started logs, and then we'll solve and check. Okay, so what does that mean? <clears throat> so we don't need to condense, so no condensing. And 
we can rewrite this. Remember, this is our base, this is our a, and this is our x. So we've got base to raised to the 6 equals the a. So 2 raised to the 6 is 64 equals x minus 4, getting x by itself, plus 4, 68 equals x. Remember to check it. Um, this one works out. All right. The second example, we are going to condense. Again, we've got an addition. So we're going to have log base 6 of x plus 9 times x. And that's going to equal 2, so I need to distribute again. So we're going to have log base 6 of x squared plus 9x equaling my 2. I'm going to always label b. This whole thing is a, and this is x. So we've got 6 raised to the second power equals x squared plus 9x. And then this is things that you guys don't like. So, so this would be 36 equals x squared plus 9x. We need to move this over here. Whenever we've got our x squared, then we're going to set it equal to 0. x squared plus 9x minus 36. And then I'm going to factor. And if you have our calculator, if you have the online calculator, you can factor easily, and we get x equals negative 12 and x equals 3. So when I check this, like I said, this number in here cannot be negative. Cannot be negative. This would make it negative, so this is not a solution. This one's a solution. This is the, our answer. All right, let me know if you have questions on solving our logs.